So I got my first text at six in the morning that the wildfires were starting in Santa Rosa. We found very quickly that we really had some unique issues with our displaced staff and our physicians and patients. And so we uh, coordinated with our incident command center uh, separately to handle our particular ambulatory needs. The team that came together uh, came together on a moment's notice. They drove from San Francisco, from Vallejo, from Santa Rosa, um, from Novato, just to be here and to put into place a structure that was something we were developing as we went along. Clinics can be closed for a day and all the calls were going to um, the call center, the on-call doctor said that's all fine, but then you realize this is going to go on longer than a day, and then the call center burned down. So day after day, we would have changing circumstances and changing environment, and it was very critical that we had a team that was off-site here in our Novato Command Center helping to kind of run logistics. We had a role for operations, for medical. We had a huge role for human resources, reaching out to staff and making sure they were okay. Communications was also an incredibly important uh, role for us here. So our approach when we set up the incident command team and looking at the population we serve was making sure that we could get to patients that had the highest acuity. Uh, the support they need and the appointments they need. Our focus was initially on oncology patients, especially those that required uh, chemotherapy infusion. So we were able to network with other Sutter infusion centers in San Francisco, in Vallejo, and in Berkeley. And all of those teams were very generous and very willing to expand hours and bring in extra help and do whatever they needed to make sure our patients received the best care possible. Just the fact that our infusions are in Beacon, which is part of Epic, we know every chemotherapy dose that every patient gets in Beacon. So when we had to move the patients to another infusion center, we knew what they were supposed to get. That is incredibly important, incredibly complex. Immediately when we all started to come together, you could see the power of the, our, our One Sutter mission and all of what we've been trying to do and integrate uh, from an enterprise perspective throughout IS through the, the many years. The incident has actually crystallized our efforts on integrating and the need to integrate more. Going through this command center experience, you realize that the Sutter Health family is live and well and strong, and people have come together out of the woodworks to support our team in the North Bay, and you realize just the incredible compassion and collaboration that's coming through from every level of the organization. You know, I can't imagine any freestanding hospital or freestanding doctor's office being able to take care of patients the way we did and being able to respond the way we did. It really speaks to the fact that we have incredibly dedicated and smart people at Sutter Health that came together immediately to get this done.